students. If somebody said to you that they felt hemmed in, what would that mean? Okay, if they say that, they are telling you they are in a situation where they don't know how to act. They don't know the way to act because all of the things that they can do will not be any good. There is no room for manoeuvre. But let me explain. The first question is, what is a hem or to hem? Okay, it's this bit on a shirt or a piece of textile where you turn it over and you make a nice edge. Yeah? The bottom of your trousers, there's always a hem. Yeah? Now, if you look at a hem, imagine, yeah, if you look at a hem, imagine you were inside there. You couldn't escape. If you go one way or another way or another way, you can't get out. Let's look at this, this uh, mm, verb hem in figuratively, but more literally. You're driving down the motorway. And there's a very slow car in front of you, so you want to pull into the next lane and accelerate. But you can't because there's a car beside you. And you think, well, maybe I'll brake and slow down and then manoeuvre. But you can't because there's another car behind you. So there's a car in front of you, a car beside you and a car behind you. You are hemmed in. Okay? You have no space to manoeuvre. You are inside... In, figuratively inside the hem of a piece of clothing. Um, I don't know, the peninsula is hemmed in on three sides by the sea. Okay, there's no way to escape. An island would be even more hemmed in. Okay, be hemmed in on all four sides. Okay, so somebody who is in a situation where they have no room to manoeuvre, they say, I'm hemmed in. Because I have no, there is nothing I can do. Okay? Notice, to hem somebody in. Okay? The situation hems him in. But normally, as a passive, I'm hemmed in. He feels hemmed in. Okay? Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, give it a rating. Subscribe to my channel. Watch another video. And I'll see you soon. Bye for now. Hem in. Phrasal verbs.